Now that is a million dollar chandelier. Or it would be if it were a chandelier. But it's only a dewy spider web, complete with spider that spends her life hanging from chandeliers. Her web is one of three or four dozen of them, festooning a six-foot square bed of black-eyed Susans. So, except for being a dazzling, intricate creation, it's nothing special. These spiders, less than a quarter inch long, build themselves two-story homes. The bottom level, flat like a doily, protects the homeowner from home invaders underneath her. The top level, shaped like a bowl, is where dinner is served. As insects fly past the web, they have to be adroit enough to avoid all its anchors because the least little fender bender with one can send a fly plummeting down into the bowl. See if you can tell whether the spider feels the original impact when a fly caroms off an anchor, or whether it only spurts to the spot after the bug hits the bowl. Let's look at it in slow-mo. Whether she had a microsecond's head start from feeling the anchor tremble or moved as the prey hit bottom, you'd have to agree that she looks jet propelled. And she sort of is. She moves her legs by shooting fluid into them. Jet fuel, I'd call it. And the teensy flies she catches are easy to pull through the interstices in the web. But bigger prey uh, require more effort. By September in Missouri, female bowl and doily spiders often find that a male has moved in on them, horning in on their prey and expecting other perks. And since spiders suck the fluids out of their prey rather than eating the meat, corpses litter the home especially with two spiders in residence. Never mind the dead fly, just step around him. Kind of reminds you of a bachelor pad full of leftover pizza crusts and beer cans. Desecrating a million dollar chandelier. <laughs>